Oh, this is a Java calculator project. I'll start by going to File, New Project. Make sure your Java is selected right there. Select the Java application there as well. Click on Next. Then just give it a name right there. I'm just, I'm going to call it uh, Calculator. Let's say Calculators with an S because I already have one on board. And uh, make sure this uh, create main class. Get rid of it and click on Next. Yep click on finish once that is done you have your calculator here right here that's it right there now right click on it and go to new once you are in new scroll down and look for jframe form click on your jframe form here comes your jframe form and change the name class name I'm gonna call my class name uh, calculator and uh, the project name is calculator as well maybe the package name i call the package name maybe calculations with an s or maybe calculation that's fine now click on finish once you click on finish this what pops up that's the frame right there and here you have the toolbox just like you have in visual basic for those of you who are used to visual basic it's my form right there and uh, within this form i'm going to make sure i now look for my text box I think I may have it here no text box will be somewhere here there it is text field click on text field position it Just make sure it's the size you want yeah that would do there's yeah, something of that size that's cool now now go to the tells feed property right here select that look for the property if you can find the property you can always right click and just click on property okay now the tells field I need to delete the text content right there get rid of that now we don't need the font let's look for the font that's the font right there make sure you select bold you can go for for 18 that's fine and then let's align it you see the horizontal alignment let's go for that and change it to right which means whatever content you type in there will be displayed just right here the next thing I'll do now is to draw my buttons okay the next thing is to create my button right there and start from here and that's my first button there and we give this a name let's call this very first button go to the property there and change the name of that button to letter J B T N 1 so that's the name of that very button and uh, let's go back to the property here the delete the text content delete and enter one in there change the font size to about 18 make that bold 18 there so the next thing is just to copy and paste so the name of that button is JBTN1. So if when you right click and you come down here, you will see where it says duplicate. Let's see if you guys can see the duplicate right there. I suppose you can see it. Okay, you see duplicate or you just copy and paste. So I'll create my duplicate as my duplicate copy. And when you look at the property, you see the name of the duplicate copy will become JBTN2 you can always highlight and that's JBTN 3 and 4 so when you select check the name let's check out the name JBTN 3 and the next one is JBTN 4 okay I will now speed that up and get back to you guys okay the calculator shell looks ready now so the next thing I will do is let me just uh, complete the naming you see this text box let's give that the name box I'll call that uh, JTXT TXT display and there so that's that done and the next thing we need to do now is double click on the form just double click maybe double click on any of the buttons come right up here you see where it says public class calculator right there you now need to declare your variables but in my case I'm going to declare my variables 
the data type will be double so the first data type I will call that first number it's very similar to my previous calculator anyway but the only difference is this one I'm going to be using if statement instead of using a switch statement so now we go for another data type the second data type is going to be called second number followed by another data type the same double another double data type there that will be the result there and the last data type will be ring and the variable name for this will be called operations the variable name for this will be called operations oh, there okay the next thing I need to do is go to design view double click on the very first button right there and enter the following lines of code you can see that's a jbtn1 which is the very first button okay enter the following lines of code but uh, normally you need to declare a string because text content will be in string format so i'm calling this as a string enter number so equals j and the next thing you need to now do is plus jbtn1 jbtn is the name of that very button dot get text so that's the first part of it make sure you enter your semicolon and the next thing is you just say jtxt display okay you want it to set text set text and what text do you want me to set whatever text is inside that is stored inside the variable enter number that is that for the very first button so all you need to do is just copy this go to your display double click on button 2 right here here's the button 2 paste change the number right here number 2 change, change that to number 2 and repeat exactly the same thing for the rest button so I will speed that up and get back to you guys okay I've finished uh, the coding of uh, 1 to 9 and I've also done the coding of uh, button C right so the next code will be for the plus for the plus and the other arithmetic operators so for the first arithmetic operator first number first number that is my very first variable uh, let's double check and see the name yeah it's called first num get rid of that first num equals double you remember the double variable declare earlier on then I want you to paste paste double spring this very one right there double click on it and right in here in the brackets right there what will be pasted is coming from oh there's an error there okay let's start again what will be pasted is coming from jtxt display yeah that's the right spelling dot get text right there all right once that is done enter your semicolon there and press enter and the next thing you now say is this which is jtxt display dot set text you now want to set the text inside the display right there okay but in this case i want it to be empty for now let it be empty make that empty then the operator or operations i call it equals the plus sign and semicolon so that is the code for the plus of arithmetic operator or the additional arithmetic operator so i'm gonna just copy that okay control c copy and go back to your design view double click on or subtraction paste that in there and change the data in the variable to 
subtraction sign now coming here we have division in there let's get rid of this paste that in there that's for the division change that to division repeat exactly the same thing for uh, the mod yeah there it is multiplication right there paste change that to multiplication the full stop repeat exactly the same thing for the full stop you're supposed to enter exactly the same thing that you enter for the code that you enter for the numbers okay that's what you need to enter for the full stop okay now I have one more thing to do yeah the plus uh, plus or minus double click on the plus or minus with the plus or minus I'm gonna declare a variable right there so let let me declare a double variable double let me just call it ops let's put an S state ops equals uh, make that double yeah that's a double dot paste yeah the paste double and what double do you want me to paste what value let, let that be string string dot value value of value of and the next thing that goes in there is the object was the object the object to be my display jtxt display dot get text and that is that done let's delete that that's too much okay so let me call on that now the next thing will be ops equals ops multiply minus one and we now say let's get this and just let me call on there first then paste that in there and change this to sets then we now say string or string value goes in there wrong spelling the string value that goes in there let's say dot dot value and the value in this case is of ops yeah that is correct ops that's the variable so for the plus minus that is or oh, those are the lines of code for the plus minus when i say the plus minus that's it right there so we are almost there now the next thing and um, which are considered to be the last is the equal sign so when I double click on that I'm going to be using if statement in there but before that let me declare another variable uh, this time around I will call that ver variable answer there and so let's say second num remember the variable I declared earlier on second num second num is my variable right up here second number that's it right there so let's come back down here okay okay second num would be double paste so let me just copy that copy and drop it in there double dot paste double open a bracket with double do you want me to paste jtxt display dot that'll be dot get dot get text and I'll just enter my semicolon right there now that is ready for me to now start my my selection so I'll start by saying if if operator I think it's called operations sorry if operations operations equals speech mark plus enter a coil bracket here and another one there that's fine if operator equals that then result equals first first num plus second second number there that is the first part of the code and answer in this case equals string dot format 
open a bracket speech mark percentage dot zero f that is for you just to format that then what are you formatting that will be result and jtxt display dot set text okay what text are you setting answer set the text answer and that is the first part of this so the first part of the code is completed but right here I have an error because that's supposed to be double equals so what I will do next is just copy copy all of these up to here and right underneath here I'll say else if else if it's, if it's subtraction do that now just copy all of this now that will be for maybe multiplication and change that come down right here paste that will be for division I think I do have one for modulus else if modulus yeah that's it there and that and that will be the end of this program actually so let me just show you guys the codes for the equal sign there they are and that's it they are all similar so I will now run the program so I will now run the program let's hopefully there won't be any error click on ok and that's it, it looks beautiful so if I enter 3 there yeah it's working as expected it's not in good order though you can always rearrange it yeah that works so let's say 23 plus 7 that gives us 30 let's multiply by 9 good divide by 6 yeah minus 78 78 minus 9 okay 78 minus 9 yeah that's about right and then plus minus that is correct multiply it by 5 that's correct and that's how you develop calculator in uh, Java NetBeans. So let's close that and let me show you guys the codes. Okay, let's see if I can in let's increase the font size for you guys to see it properly. Okay, that's it right there. Come in here. Let's increase the font size to about maybe 18. All right, click on OK. Yeah. I believe you should be able to see it much better now. Okay, that's those are the variables like I said earlier on. Button three, one, two, and so on. See the buttons are all the, the same lines of codes. See that? That's uh, button eight, I think. That's uh, button nine. I remember that and this is supposed to be my I think button zero right there that is clear and this is my arithmetic operators for the addition subtraction division multiplication this is for one of my buttons okay this is for the the full stop or for the dot or period whatever you want to call it and here this is for the plus and plus and minus okay right down here and I have where the main programming takes place and this is for the equal sign you can see if it is plus this first number plus second number and then it's assigned it's converted to spring and then stored into the uh, addition which is the sorry stored answer which is the variable earlier on this variable is then assigned to display right there the same thing exactly the same thing is repeated but in this case using else if you take it down right there okay and that will be the end of this uh, calculator project it seems a little bit long sorry about that well, I suppose you guys will enjoy it better than the previous calculator, so you all have a nice day now. Thanks for watching.